Lines can also be plotted as something called rake, which is an angle measured within a plane between a line and the strike of that plane. In order to plot the rake, then, we need two pieces of information. We need the rake, which is an angle between a 0 and 180 degrees, and we need the strike, dip, and dip direction of the plane that that line, plane, that that line lies on. We want to start by plotting our plane. So in this case, the plane has a strike of 150 degrees. So we're going to count around the perimeter of the circle from 90 up into 150 and make a tick mark there. Then we're going to spin the tracing paper so that the strike lies at north. Then we're going to plot the dip of the plane. And we're going to start by figuring out where the dip direction is, southwest, which is on the right-hand side of our tracing paper. And then we're going to count the dip, 30 degrees, in from the outside and trace the great circle that that 30 degree dip uh, is represented by. So here is our plane. You spin it back to north, you can see what the strike and dip of a plane that has a strike of 150 degrees and a dip of 30 southwest looks like. Then to plot the rake, we spin the tracing paper again so that that great circle lines up with a great circle on the stereo net so that the strike line is lined up with north and south. And then we're going to start at the strike and count 120 degrees along that great circle and make a dot. And that dot represents our line. Then if we spin the tracing paper back so that north on the tracing paper lines up with north on the stereo net, then we can see the dot representing the rake of that line and that dot will always lie on the great circle of the plane.